This is a normal diesel heater filter for the diesel fuel line. This <laughs> is the one that broke inside of my Jeep. Uh, the other night when I was trying to figure out my heater, I have no idea what happened, but the top ripped off. Uh, yeah, so this one looks a lot better. Thankfully, my mom had this extra part. This is why I'm still on the island, because I'm trying to fix all of the kinks in the Jeep and get it ready. I'm taking my time, enjoying life, but today I'm going to fix this guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. An attempt to cut it with these baby medical scissors. Let's see if I can do it. Oh yeah, those are some nice scissors. Okay. Okay. So this line, you know what? I think we had this on here backwards. That's why it broke. From the diesel container into here, filtering and going out. Yeah, that would make sense. I think we had this backwards. That's why it broke. Makes sense. It's like doing surgery. Let's stick you in here. Hopefully, this is the right size. It's a smaller filter than the previous one. Pray to the diesel gloves that did this right. I wrapped the insulated tubing in more insulation, some leftover <laughs> reflectix that I had, and yeah, this is what, what my plan is for the heater for now. Then I have some outdoor stuff here and I put some more reflectix down in there. So none of that stuff melts. I'm, I'm still learning what's gonna work in terms of heater, so. Something that I really love about this region of the world is how distinct fishing culture is here. The summer is all about fishing. Last year when I was crabbing, gill netting, and longlining, I really was able to gain a respect for the commercial fishing industry and for the fish themselves. The native peoples of this region have been subsisting off salmon and other fish species for millennia. And now that I have the time to teach myself how to sport fish, I'm remembering all of the good and bad of last summer on the water and trying to use some of those skills to teach myself how to catch my own fish. Not only because it's a fun outdoor sport, but because I'd really like to learn another way to feed myself that is sustainable and low cost. And as many people up here like to say, if fish hits the fan, we gotta know how to feed ourselves. You've caught fish before, but you've caught fish. I caught fish in a gillnet. In a different way. Different. Yeah. Gillnet and long lining. This is more action, oh. you know? Yeah, which is fun. We bought waders like months ago and haven't used them yet. So this is my little kit of all sorts of things. For coho, I'm using a these little spinners. It looks like the pink ones have been sold out in store, so I'm just gonna use the pink ones. So there's lots of fish in there right now. We keep seeing them float up and I'm teaching my mom. I'm proud of you. You're doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. Okay, so before I pull it in, I've got to push this back. Again. No, you don't have to. You should be able to just reel it. Yeah, just reel it in the right direction. Okay. There we go. That was a good pass. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, like maybe it does need to go lower and then it needs to expand faster. Because like, Okay. Thank you, Mom. The yeah, they're like right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. You got it. Mama's got it. You got it. This could be dinner. We might. Oh, oh yeah, it's coming in. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We might be having Pokeballs for dinner. <laughs> I'm so scared, Louie. <laughs> oh, oh freaking Fragger Sprags. Oh, you definitely get a workout, huh? All right, um, you might need to tighten this one. Is it pulling? Yeah, okay, yeah, good. Reel it in. 
You got it. this time we need a net because we were able to get them like close to shore and then they would come off then they would escape yeah so I think that's what we need to do they we can't just pull it in you know we have to like grab it with a net they escape and I think we also need a bigger hook yeah we need a bigger hook and we need tools to switch out the hooks and also we learned to come at right before high tide because that's when they're all hungry and all the food's coming in yeah and that's like, yeah, they're the hungriest then because we've been fishing now and they just like... They're full. They're full. They're Their not interested are anymore. So I mean, and they were nibbling hardcore. Yeah, like we would get a bite. Every time I put it in, I would get a bite or two. Yeah. yeah. And then now they're just not interested. They're full. Like they were just like laying on the bottom. They're <laughs> just chilling. They're chilling. So we learned something yeah. and we're going to come back tomorrow. Probably. We are getting fish tomorrow. <laughs> So it's definitely been strange living in a car after living on the island with the actual housing. It feels like I'm living in an entirely different reality than those that are housed here. I've noticed way more travelers and more people who also live in vehicles on this island, simply by just being one myself. It's also strange how people begin to treat you differently when you live in a car. I'm lucky because I'm choosing to do this, however, it definitely brings up feelings of being an outsider. It's a porcupine! Oh my god, can you guys see it? No? Ah, the porcupine! <laughs> Sorry, porcupine. So fun. Right. Turn them off. Here's a road that is kind of close to town that has some public road where there are some turn offs that I have been parking in every time that I want to come to town the next day. Like, I've been in town all day and I'm like, oh, I need to go to town again. Because I've been spending a lot of time with my mom, I've been camping out here the past couple days. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to save for all this time with my wonderful mother. And soon my brother, when he's done fishing, he's working on a sailing boat this year, fishing salmon. Once he's back, it'll be nice to spend some time with him before I leave the island. And yeah, we're just savoring things. Tomorrow, we are fishing again. We were gonna go kayaking, but we're like, the fishing's so good right now, we were like, we should probably keep fishing until we can catch some beautiful salmon, beautiful silvers. Yeah, we're gonna go to bed, I'm so sleepy, man. I haven't fished that hard in a very long time. Pulling inside of it. See you guys tomorrow morning. Guess who got knock at the door last night? This girl. Yeah, and this dog, yeah, we're baddies. No, yeah, apparently I'm not supposed to park here or like camp here. <laughs> Oops, officer was super nice. I really wish that I caught it on camera though. Uh, being a content creator, that's like the first thing I could do. I'm like, oh, I should have recorded it. But uh, yeah, basically he was just like, I just like opened this door. I was like, officer, because I was like half asleep. I was like, is everything okay, officer? Like what's happening he's like oh you can't really park here like technically you're not allowed to like camp in this area I was like oh okay sorry he's like I won't make you move tonight he didn't say don't park here but he didn't say park here he's like I won't make you leave tonight since you're obviously sleeping but yeah you're not really supposed to be here I was like oh okay sorry about that I generally think like on this island there isn't a lot of crime and the officers are pretty nice here, so wasn't an issue this time around. Just preparing. I'm just in training for the real world. About to go get us some fish. <laughs> round some dinner. Oh. Pokeballs. <laughs> we drove my mom's van out here, and we're at my friend's house, and she has access to a pretty cool area to fish, so that's where we're going in the same spot we were yesterday. All right, we've made it out. For day two, a sun, beautiful sunny day. They're thinning everywhere. I don't think.
think they like the sun, y'all. We yeah. are being patient yeah. currently. The tide's coming in. We realized like the fish stopped flopping and we're like, we should just wait yeah. till the, when the tide comes up. Look at the water. Look how fast it's moving. That has happened in the last 15 minutes. Yeah, so quickly. We're gonna have to move here in a second. I wish salmon was easy, as easy to catch as sculpids. Those are so easy to get. <laughs> huh? I know. That one go back. Let it get its breath. Getting it there. Yeah, there we go. Bye, fishy! Too bad it wasn't a bigger trap. <laughs> we were both so funny. We're like, oh my god. <laughs> Good morning from this beautiful, quiet campground. Uh, I love it here. We are on day three of fishing. We are going to try today to catch us a silver. We're not giving up. We're headed back to the same river rapids that we were at yesterday because the spot there were a ton of beautiful like clear looking fish. I looked in the creek over here and there were a ton of humpies that were super dark so we don't want those. There's lots of humpies over here but they really spawned. They're dark humpies. <laughs> William's like, oh my God. I'm surprised he's not going after them. Those aren't the fish we want. I mean, here those are good for smoking, but we want some beautiful bright fish, so we're gonna go to the river rapids and try again. They weren't biting at all yesterday, and so I don't know, maybe they'll be hungry today. William's with me. He didn't even notice the humpies in the stream over there. He could have totally chased after them, but he didn't care. All right, let's go fishing again. All right, here we are, day three fishing. It's just me, mom's working today, so I'm on my own fishing. And there's tons of fish out there, but they're not biting, and I think it's because it's too hot and sunny. They slow down more when it's hot and sunny, and they're less likely to bite. So I'm just gonna try some different lures out, practice my casting, enjoy this beautiful view. They're out there. And then maybe, after today, we'll wait for a more cloudy day to keep going. But here we go. Let's see if we can do it. See if we could get a salmon. Man it out. Evidence that people have been getting fish. Just how and when is the question. channel has turned into a fishing channel. Just kidding. That, this is just this week's adventure. Even the, there were some people here earlier with bait and they weren't even biting, so I doubt they're gonna bite on mine, but we could give it to go. We'll try a couple different lures. Wow, I had one bite, y'all. I think they like the yellow, but I uh, lost it. I need to hook into it better, I think. Ooh, that's always scary. No cigar. I did, I think I snagged one. And yeah, I'm just not good at reeling them in yet. <sighs> Got a spoon on now, but it looks like the tide's coming in pretty quickly now. So 
I'm gonna go this way so I don't get stuck out here. You guys, one day I will catch a fish and it will be marvelous. It will be a moment unlike any. Wow, it's really windy out here, y'all. And Okay, we're gonna try right here. It's very rocky here, so I might lose this lure. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's, let's go. Let's see if it's deep enough now over here. This is a nice opening where they like to travel. Yesterday at Slack Tide, we caught a trout. It was wild, there was fish everywhere. This time, I don't know. If I were a fish and I saw you, if I were a fish and I caught you, I'd say, look at that fish shining in the sun, what a real one, and I can't believe that you caught one. I remember two years ago when I came out here for the first time to try to teach myself how to fish, I was so bad at it. I could not cast, my reel would get all birds nesty all the time, and then you just gotta keep working at it, I guess. Oh no, it's stuck on a rock. <laughs> stuck on a rock! Cause I'm just stuck on a rock. I go this way. No, let's try it this way. Oh, I'm talking myself up. Oh! Stuck on a rock. There we go. Yay! I did it. I'm burnt, man. Fishing three days in a row. I think I'm gonna probably take a break from fishing for the next couple days. I'm out of it. It's hot. You know, I can't complain because it's not as hot. It's much hotter down south right now, but I am done for right now. I'm just like not used to heat anymore, I guess. So it's like only like 65 degrees out right now. Yeah. And William's not used to it either. Don't worry guys, I had the windows open and a fan going and a nice big bowl of water in here for him. Yeah, I'm gonna go on another you know what as soon as I eat something. I just want to get a fish, guys. I think it'll happen later this week when it- ooh, William was- okay, William, let me do peanut butter first. I think it will happen later this week when it's cloudier because it's just I keep casting like into pools of fish. I got one bite out of probably a hundred casts today. Oh I probably should have refrigerated this. Oh where do you want some peanut butter? Okay I'll give you peanut butter for being such a good boy. I don't know what it is. The other day I woke up and I was like I want a freaking PB and J right now. I don't know what it was, like a high fiber bread with some strawberry jam and some crunchy peanut butter. Easy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you do a good boy. You do your bit. I hate using my utensils to feed him. Oh yeah. <laughs> good boy. He's a good boy. Okay, gross. We're gonna have to wash this. He's rolling. PB&J. Nothing like a good PB&J in the parking lot.